Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Um, the topic of the question is about the mutaba'a, the follow of the Imam. Um, the ma'mum or the person who is following the Imam should remain in the action that they were in until the Imam completes the next move. For example, if you are standing in the Qira'a position and the Imam is going to the Ruku'a, you keep standing until he completely goes into Ruku'a and he completes the word Allahu Akbar. When you hear the Ra, if you cannot see the Imam, that's when you start moving. That's when you initiate your move to Ruku'a. If he's in a Ruku' position and he's going to stand up from Ruku' and saying, Sami Allahu liman hamida, you remain in the Ruku' until you hear the Imam completed the word, Sami Allahu liman hamida. Then you move, you start moving. When he's going to sujood, you, you keep standing. According to the Sahabi, he says, Lam yahni ahadun minna dhaharahu hatta yada'a jabhatahu ala al-ard. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Sahabi says, one of us never turn his back toward his going down until the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam places his face on the ground. And the Imam is supposed to extended the takbir until he places his jabha or face on the ground. When he places his face on the ground is when the ra, Allahu Akbar, comes. So the completion of the word and the completion of the action is the one that's supposed to trigger the move of the follower. So that is when you start moving after the, after the imam. There are four scenarios possible. Three of them are wrong. Four scenarios are possible when it comes to following the Imam. It's possible that you go side by side with the Imam, meaning you match the Imam with the move. You. You. I have it here, don't worry, I'll send it to you. So, you, you, you can match the Imam, like side by side. You go together, you go up, down, up, down, equally, at the same time. That's possibility. The second possibility is you go before the Imam. So you are, this is the Imam and this is the follower. So before the Imam says, Allah Akbar, you go, and the Imam is the one who is catching up with you. You are ahead of the Imam. A second scenario, that's possible. A third possibility is you follow the Imam. Follow. He goes, you go. Goes, you go. Like that. All the time is following right away after the Imam completes the action. So, Ruku, when he completes, you start. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Rabbana wa lakal hamd. Sujood. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Okay. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. After the Imam and next to the Imam, you're following him. Meaning, you are just following him. You're not behind. You're not ahead. You're not marching. The fourth scenario is you are behind. The Imam went to Ruku. You're still standing. He comes back from Ruku and you're still standing. And now you are coming to Ruku while he's going to Sujood. So you are behind the Imam. You're not following him. You are behind the Imam. Three of them are wrong. Three of them are wrong. Uh, to match the Imam side by side is wrong. To be ahead of the Imam is wrong. To be way behind the Imam and not following him is wrong. Just one of them is of the four scenarios, right? Which is following the Imam. He does it, you do after him. He comes back, you come after him. He does this, 
you do this. Right after the Imam. When he completes the action, you initiate your action. He completes going to Ruku, and he is in a Ruku now, then you are starting the move. He comes up from Ruku, you keep in the Ruku, you were late from him. You, you came to Ruku later than him. You will have that time that he was before you staying there in Ruku. So you can have same equal time. You and the Imam will have equal time in Ruku, equal time in Sujood, equal time in Qara, equal time everything. That is what's supposed to be mutaba or following. There is a hadith the Prophet Sallallahu said, if you go ahead of the Imam, he said, Ama yakhafu alladhi, ama yakhshya alladhi, yadau, yarfa'u ra'asahu qabla al-imam an yuhawwil Allahu ra'asahu ra'asa himar. Doesn't he afraid, or he isn't he afraid, the one that is raising his head before the Imam, that Allah turns his head into a donkey head. So, some scholars they said it's a curse and some scholars said it's just a scare um, uh, news for for those who always fall ahead of the imam uh, the imam is supposed to also the imam is their responsibility is to take care of the jama'ah so these days i don't know what happened people are not patient they will just chase you so from my own perspective, this is what I do. When I'm going to sujood, I know many people, if they hear me saying, Allahu Akbar, the minute I start, ah, many people will go down. And some of them are faster than you, and they will hit the ground before you. They will put their face on the ground before you uh, put your face on the ground. So this is what I do. I don't say Allahu Akbar until I am sure I am very close to the ground. And then I, I, I quickly put my face on the ground and I finish the takbir ra with the face on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can keep them standing. And sometimes we need to educate them. So that's what it is. And that is the answer of the question. Barakallahu feekum. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.